Hi people. Oh. I hope you've seen some of my nice clips and that you think they're nice of my excellent recent two week vacation in the center and the south of France. I've got them almost all posted on two YouTube channels and Daily Motion under Lisa Fallure. And uh, this is Paris right now. And it's been really gray and chilly and rainy for the past week and a half or so. We had a flat tire this morning. And we've had lots of other fun stuff to deal with. I got back and I had a 900 euro tax bill due, which I had to go deal with. And, um... They actually didn't accept any money from me right away, but I'm waiting to hear from them, and it's probably not going to be good. Um, oh, this is lousy, you know? This is really lousy. I mean, I don't like heat and hot weather. I'm not a beach person, but it was really nice down there. And, you know, you go back, and you go back to work, and yeah, it's nice that you have something to do and a place to go back to but it can be kind of a grind and um, I usually take it pretty well I do remember years ago um, I visited the U look at that crane up there man whoa I visited the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico in June for my birthday actually that year I think it was 1984 long time ago and uh, I didn't know it was the rainy season, and that's why my ticket was so cheap. And uh, it was just beautiful, you know. It didn't bother me that it started raining at sundown and rained all night, you know. I thought it was lovely, and the flowers were very pretty, and the iguanas were happy during the day. And when I got back to Brooklyn, everything was just, like, so gray, you know. It was, like, such a difference. I had been in all this lush greenness for for just a week in that case, but eh, what can you do? It's nice to go away on vacation. So, you know, I had some shit happen to me this morning. You know, I don't talk about my work like hardly ever here, but I couldn't get to an appointment this morning because and we left in plenty of time. I was well prepared. But uh, the the a tire was flat in the car. And we had to deal with that. And it was already too late to take public transportation there. So since I was still like a little bit early uh, for the appointment, I phoned them and I said in French, you know, I'm really sorry I can't make it. And they were pretty upset. And I thought, well, this is weird because... I hadn't actually been officially summoned to this event. You know, uh, it hadn't appeared on my regular work schedule or anything. And I said to the woman, well, I know it's really bad to cancel, but uh, I just can't get there, you know, in, in the next half hour. And she said, oh, that's crazy, you know, you can you can take the commuter train. And I said to her, look, I don't want to argue with you, but to get from my apartment here in this gorgeous neighborhood to the RER train takes 45 minutes on the bus. It's not difficult, but it takes 45 minutes. And then to get to that other city takes about 45 minutes. And then uh, the meeting place was a further bus ride which can take 30 to 45 minutes so I said to her well she said well I've got this guy waiting and stuff and he's very important and everything and I thought well this is weird this is very weird and I said well even if I were to leave right now which I'm not going to do and I'm sorry I don't normally do this sort of thing but I'm not coming. We're going to have to reschedule. And remember, I had never been formally summoned for this meeting. 
which you have to really kind of be in France. Uh, I won't get into that, but uh, she said she was very put out. And I said, well, this is just like a normal medical visit, isn't it? And she was like, oh, no, no, uh, you're going to be fully examined. And I thought, these shitheads, this they are doing to me again? <coughs> I have a bad cold. <coughs> these people have pulled this thing on me again and again and again over the last going on a decade. Wow, people. If you want to work in France, you had better hire me and have me as a consultant because I have had every dirty thing done to me over the past 18 years here. And I know all... Je connais tous les chansons. Je connais tous les refrains. Okay? I know all the stories. I know all the songs. All right? Uh, so, you know, screw them. And then they contacted me later today by email and said, could you please confirm that you couldn't get to the appointment this morning? Because I know it cost a lot of money to set all this up. They were trying to trap me. You know, I'm not that paranoid a person these days. I probably should be more so, but I'm not. And I just answered and I said, you know, I've never been correctly summoned for this meeting. So I didn't say yes, I didn't say no. But, you know, they can just go to you know where. Really. We'll see what happens. I mean, after all I've been through. And, you know, I don't expect you to go looking through all of my old videos. But I have a lot of stuff about this uh, on my two channels on YouTube and on Daily Motion uh, about what I've had to endure. And I had three jobs in 2010 for which I've never been paid. You know, and there's really nothing I can do about it because it was the French government, it was l'Education Nationale who employed me as a visiting professor. And I can't even use the French labor courts to go against them. And I've contacted my union and I have no answer from them, but I haven't had any answer from them basically for like about six years. So that's kind of what's going on. And I'm very tired. Maybe you can hear it. Uh, thank you everybody for, <laughs> for watching my channels and stuff. And I get a lot of very nice comments and support and it's very nice. Um, uh, what a day, you know. I was down there with the lizards eating fruit in the south of France like a week and a half ago, and now this is where I'm at, you know. <laughs> it's like facing the music, you know. Uh. Oh, I wanted to show you something cool. Well, I've got that camera on because... I'm just not good about vlogging these days unless it's like vacation stuff or really standard stuff. Let's go over here to my drawer. These are some very, 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 very strange French candies. I was upset because my husband um, went to visit his family a year ago and, you know, I haven't been welcome out there for a couple of years at least. And, uh, he didn't bring me back any gifts or anything. I, all I got was this like little package of candy uh, around Halloween last year. And this says Toli Glo Glotzer. Okay. Maybe these are super sour fooling. Oh, these are kind of German. Okay. So this is a little eyeball. And I just broke down today and I ate two of these. And, um, they're in this, like, little plastic thing. I'm not going to open this one. But you can see there's, like, bloodshot stuff on them, which is really only in the packaging. But when you open them, uh, like, the little eyeball is there. And it's basically this squishy marshmallow. And it's pretty messed up. And I can't get you any of these. I have no idea where he got these. 
I have some jello and I have a brain mold. Uh, if I ever had visitors, I would serve them a jello salad because the French hate jello. They won't eat it. And if I were to offer these candies, they'd be horrified. But this is pretty cool. You know, it's squishy. Tastes nasty. I ate two of them today. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And, uh, oh god, I'm about to lose an eyeball here. Alright, let me, let me not lose the eyeball. Let me save it. I did offer one to my spouse today, and I think he was kind of ashamed that he had brought me such a cheap little thing from, from his visit out there. But, you know, what do you want? You know, you can't get. You can't get gold coins every day from your spouse as long as he or she is basically good. I guess that's got to be kind of good enough, right? Well, maybe I don't demand enough, but I don't know. I guess I'm getting kind of old and tired and broken down. So I hope you guys are all okay. And uh, this is the crappy weather in Paris, France today, so... If you think France is like all like romantic and Paris is like groovy and it's always great, let me assure you, you know, life goes on here just like any place else and we have bad stuff here. <coughs> oh, I'm so tired of this cold. I was so sick this past Saturday. <coughs> <coughs> I could barely <coughs> stagger to the pharmacy <coughs> to ask for some Vicks Vapo rub and a, a syrup and stuff. I already had some stuff in the house, but ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.